Yo, 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 it's your boy T Nice, and this is Kick Back and Chill Podcast. Yo, yo, what's up? I'm Ocean again. Hey guys, I'm Melody. This is Kick Back and Chill. Yo, 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second episode of Kick Back and Chill podcast. And I'm back again with my guys, Ocean Geno and Melanie. Hi, guys. And yeah, man, today is a very special one that we are having the first, ep- the first guest on the podcast. And it's a special one, man. It's Murder. How's it, man? How are you doing? Hey, man, first of all, man, thank you for having me, my brother. Um, guys, it's an honor to be here. And to like be the first one to be like, you know, the guest of yeah. the show. Yeah, man, it's a great honor, man. Yo, guys, I go by the name Murder. As y'all know, I'm the founder of the Vote Events, which is happening on the 18th of June. And guys, I'm the hit maker of Blue Balenciaga. Yeah. Thank you for having me, man. Yeah, that's dope, man. It's, yeah. it's really special for us to have someone like you, you know, with what you're doing. You're so busy that for the fact that you took your time and come to the podcast, it's yeah. really special, man. Yeah. And we really appreciate you being here. It's an honor, man. It's an honor, bro. It is what it is. All right, man. So, um, did you guys introduce yourself? Yeah, you did. Yeah, we did. Melanie and Ocean Geno. And behind the scenes with Phoenix Raps, uh, Mary World, Hope, <laughs> Litemba, and. Yes, it's Hope. Yes, it's Hope. What? what? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's good, you're good. Okay, there's another guy there, came with murder, you know the gang and everything. But yeah, I mean, we appreciate you, man, being here. Yeah, man. Uh, before we start, I just want to say rest in peace to Ricky Rick, you know. May you so rest in peace. We're starting the year 2022 on a bad note, but may you, may you so rest in peace. Yo, man, that's like the biggest loss, I mean, in the hip hop game right now, man. Like, yeah. I know we've been like losing many artists, you know, like, Okay, like R.I.P. The City Lights too, mm-hmm. who recently died. Um, Ricky Rick, I mean, he's like the biggest name out there. Mm. You know, like the nicest person in the game. A co-sign for all these young upcoming artists. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just a big, big tragedy to like ever lost like that. I mean, he's a big name out there, and like he was the father of the hip hop game. I mean, yeah, guys, it's really sad. Yeah, some, yeah. someone someone described him as the godfather of hip hop. Yeah, of how. Uh, Wait, if it, wasn't Ricky going to perform at your Nah, um, actually, uh, Ricky, um, my conversation with Ricky was I was going to be the one performing at the Cotton Fest. Oh, oh that's dope, G. That's, that's dope, my man. But now, we still need to see if the Cotton Fest is still going to like take place. Oh, okay, okay. Ricky's gone, so yeah. I have not doubt. Yo, it's next month on, the, on March, and guys, as ways, as ways, um, <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know, guys. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's, okay. Just it's not TV. It's, it's, t- it's a podcast. It's, it's not TV. You know, we don't, yeah. we don't have to worry it's about that. I just don't know what yeah. to say, man. Ricky yeah. Rick left me speechless, man. You know? That's it, man. And it, 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 it just so shows that, you know, whenever we talk about depression, mm-hmm. and we take it lightly. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, and with, the, with his death, because mm-hmm. most, most of the people they are saying it's depression, he was depressed and whatever. And he even talked about it on his podcast. Yeah. Say he was depressed. So I mean, it, I think it's a, it's it's really something that we need to also, you know, if you feel depressed, you know, find someone to talk to, man. Talk to, you know, yeah, yeah, get. Open about it, man. Yeah, man. Calling things up, guys, is really dangerous. Yeah. I mean, especially for the youth right now. Mm. I mean, we're going through a lot of stuff, but you know, where society is being judgmental. Yeah. And the things that you do, mm-hmm. um, then you also like reflect on what. Mm. And the image that they painting of you, man. Yeah. Know? If they are like giving you some negative energy, mm. like the best way to like add to it and like fix it is just not to entertain stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, like for that. sure, yeah. Because it's not healthy, guys. Please don't bottle up stuff, guys. Find someone to talk to, because guys, people are dying out here. Yeah. It's a tragedy because it's the youth. That we yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, man. It's it's really bad, man. Yeah. One thing you didn't know, actually everyone didn't know about this, was I also went through depression. You still remember that, 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 that week I was chilling at home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was that time. Hey, my nigga. Yo, man. But, yeah, but, but I always but say... For me, yeah. I had someone to talk to. I had my mother, like, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, through it. At least, yeah. Maggie. Yeah, because I always feel like at least find someone to talk, you feel comfortable talking to. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Even if it's, uh, I don't know, your neighbor or whatever, but your friend, you know, yeah, yeah. talk to them. Just, Just open, open up, up, man. Yeah. You understand? Just be open. Just be open. You never know, they know someone and, yeah. You wanna say something? <laughs> okay, but yeah, man, just open up. Depression is real. Let, uh, let us get help, you know. And yeah. I mean, yeah, we're here for each other, man. Anyone who needs a person to talk to, we all have friends, you know. Um, let's not let social media, you know, like take the best of us, you know. And the yeah. sessions are free. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's they free. Mm-hmm. And not, not a lot of people know that. So the fact that you said it, I, I didn't even know. <laughs> I, to her, you know. So I didn't even know that. So yeah, man. So get some help and make sure you guys are, are doing okay. Yeah. And all right. So we're gonna be talking about the music. With that out of the way, we're gonna talk about the music. You know. What I want to know is the background, man. Where it, where it all started and what inspired you to start doing music. Yo, man, yo, so it's actually a long story, man, because... Um, no, we, we are here, don't, don't no, stress. No, still have time, yeah. <laughs> we have time, um, we have the whole day. Okay, man, so what really, like, inspired me to make music was my big brother. Mm-hmm. Um, he used to have a rap group um, back in Guano called um, SYD, which stands for Side Yard. They were, like, the biggest acts back then, you know, they were, like, I don't know, was 2012 or 2011, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. It was way back then. Yeah. So, like, I was watching him, you know, like, listening to artists like Chris Brown and stuff like that, you know. Like, he was the one, he, he's the rap person in his family, you know. So, I actually picked up from that. So, you could actually say, um, A. Reese and his brother is just the same as me and my half bigger brother. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. They, my, br- my big brother, nah, yeah, he's not rapping anymore, but they still have the crew. Um, which I think the rap name now is what I can't remember the rap name, but mm. they're just hanging out now. They're not really making music. Anymore. Okay, yeah. it's just like a gang, just yeah. hanging out. So yeah, man, I picked off from him. Then I decided to like, you know, let me try this music thing. Mm-hmm. Then um, I think in 20, I'm not sure, but I think 2014, um, I recorded my first track with a guy called um, 3P, which was a producer back in. In Kwano, that was way back then. Mm-hmm. I doubt he's still a producer now, but big shout out to him, man, for putting me on the grounds, man. Yeah, there's always those first people that. Yeah. Yeah. And I that, can remember yeah. those days. Uh, people were like, "Yo, did you hear the, that song? It wasn't, it wasn't murder back then. It wasn't no, murder. No, it was Diego. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was oh, Diego. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Sure. And yeah. the first time I listened to it, I was like, "Yo, this nigga is dope." Right? Yeah, man. yeah. There was the, so that my hit singer was Pooza back then. It means drink, not kiss. Yeah, oh, yeah. Pusa, yeah. yeah, man, it was Pusa. I was Diego back then. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, man, as time went by, I stopped making music for like a few years, like say four to five years. Damn, that's a long back. time. That was a long that's time. a long time, yeah. A long time. I don't know what like inspired me to like go back on my wheels, man, you know? I yeah. think, um, oh, yeah, I think it was Tweezy. I'm the producer, Tweezy. He released a track. I can't remember the name of his track, but um, I think, yeah, Dreams and Ambitions, mm-hmm. you see. Yeah. I saw the track from Treezy. Then I, then I like, downloaded the same, uh, um, same type beat. Then I hopped on it with a track um, called uh, Blue Balenciaga. That was, no, it wasn't actually my first track, but it was my first hit, you know. My first ever track was All Party, which was, um, I'd say, was inspired by Pop Smoke because it was a drill. Was it your song? Yeah, because b- yeah. before I know you personally, mm. people were saying he's a driller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah, like, yeah, I, I, I thought you only do drills. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah, I came back as a drill rapper, there's facts. Yeah, yeah. And then and later on, that's when I started, you know, listening to more of your songs. Like, oh, this nigga yeah, can rap, yeah. you know, yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. So, yeah, that's, that's really cool, man. That's yeah. really dope. I think. So, when, 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 when you started, was it hip hop or. Maybe you were doing Afro pop back then. You never know. You never know. You never know, guys. You know, and people were into Spaza. You, you understand? And the name of the song is what? Is, what what's the name of the song? Pooza. Yeah. See, it's a closer name. Yeah. Many people think it was like Spaza or something like that. No, man. It was just hip hop. 
I've always, always been a hip hop fan, rap mm -hmm. fan. Drill like Drill only came to South Africa like yeah. four to yeah, yeah, yeah. three years ago. I think it's yeah. when Pope Smoke blew up. Pope Smoke blew up. That's when uh, that's when um, Drill started. Yeah, yeah it was Bro, it, 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 if I, if I tell you that me. I started as a gospel producer, bro. I, I don't want to lie, I was doing gospel. But I was doing that international gospel stuff. And I was like, hey, man, I'm not making money with this shit. God bless you with that, I'm not making money. And then, you know, I started doing hip hop. And I do it better. Oh, I did Afro pop as well, you know, because it's similar to that international gospel. And then I went to hip hop. I was like, I'm doing better than all these niggas, man. So let me, let me, let me take over, you understand? So, yeah, man, that's. This, so, a, um, where was your first performance, and how how did it go? Guys, no lies, guys. My first performance was last year, Damn. 2020. Mm -hmm. But I've, I've been, been in the game, game like for many years. But I only started performing like last year. Mm -hmm. You see, at Schoolers Lounge, and that was my first ever show. Oh, you see, and, and December. And it was yeah, yeah, I was there, I was, was there. Last year, no, not last year. No, it was last year, bro. Yeah, oh, last year, but earlier in the year, no? Yeah, because December was away, I went somewhere. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, man. Uh, um, yeah, that was my first ever um, performance. Yeah. I couldn't believe um, the crowd, man. It was yeah. a marsh pit. I was but, performing globally in Siag, and everyone mm. was like Didn't you singing along. Lounge? Yeah, I also, also performed, performed there. That was my second show. show. But it wasn't really packed there because it wasn't my show. Yeah. I was just booked, oh. you see. Uh, oh, so you feel like... That was my first ever performance. So you, you feel like if you do a show mm. that you say your own, it will be packed for sure? It will be packed. I don't want to lie, bro. Not too bad, but damn, yeah. it's going to be packed. Because I mean, I mean, like now, the youth is like, you know, like getting a clearer vision of like, you know, showing love to mm. each other. Yeah. Especially, Especially after Ricky Rick passed, like he left us, you know, a job. To like, you know, take care of your friends, take care of your people, yeah. you know, like show love, show love, yeah, exchange of energy and stuff like yeah. that. So, man, we're really adapting to that now because I can see a lot of artists are like working on collabs mm. now, yeah. and you that's know, really good for the music. You, you get people that say, Oh, bro, you, you, you're really good, why are you not famous yet? You see that, but you get people that don't share your stuff, bro. You see, when I say, But I really, I really like the, the fan base that you have. Yeah, you see that, you know, people, they try to push you as well. And the gang that you, that you hang out with, they really, you know, put you out there, which yeah. is really good, man. Yeah, man. And support, yeah, I need to yeah. support. We need no it. No support is better than support you we get need from you. The closest sure. people you have. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Because they're the ones, like, who push you. If, like, if, if, if I tell you, the, 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 when I opened open Tina's music, yeah. the, the, the studio, I had Phoenix Raps and Mirror World. We, we did an EP, uh, just, but that EP really, you know, made something for me. Even if I was working at the minimum, say, you know, I was squeezing, you know, the budget and everything, you understand? But that, from that, this went on new uh, Ocean Geno as well. And yeah, man, this guy came through. Uh, Litemba, and you know, that's where I started, you know, meeting people, and then, yeah, now I don't charge minimum, guys. Yeah. Very expensive, but yeah, you know, you already know, so we always uh, start somewhere, man. And I'm looking forward to what's coming up this year. Yo, man, <laughs> this year is gonna be a mazza, I don't wanna lie to you, man. Yeah, it's gonna and, like, be dope. Thanks to my bro, who's mm. with me today. Um, I would say he's my brother, my road manager, my ah. right-hand man, shout out to Simam Kele. You big see, that's a big shout out to my brother right sure. there. He's with yeah. me today in the stool. <laughs> those, those that push you or those that support you. Yeah. We appreciate you guys. Big time. You already time. know. Maybe if this guy didn't say, did say, ah, today I don't feel like it. You could have said, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. You, you understand? So we really appreciate big you, G. Big time. You already know. So any new, any new music coming up soon? Um, to be honest, man, like. I'm only working on features right now mm -hmm. because I feel like I released way too many like songs right? yeah. and and I don't see like you know a way forward since I'm not registered at the moment. Okay. So yeah. Yo, bro, that with Samro and Sampra, you see that, that process, process takes ages. It takes bro. ages, man. It so now I just time. decided to like you know take a step back from music mm -hmm. and like just focus on my event organizing, you know, yeah, yeah. category, man. You see, be there. And like I'm managing artists, man. Just in case you guys didn't know, I'm managing 15 artists, man. Oh, I think well, it was yesterday when nice. when when uh, when Ocean oh, was telling me about it that you opening a record label or something like that. No, at the okay, no. You see, 
that's the agenda, man, to like start a record label. But mm -hmm. at the moment, it's just a, what should I call it, an artist management franchise. It's like a community, bro. Like, just a, you see, yeah. the younger artists, you see, yeah. with yeah. the little fan base that yeah. I have, you see, just yeah. to like help them. Yeah. Because I mean, there's a lot of talent, like in Neisner, Plitt, George, but it's a, they don't get the platform to like, you know. Exactly, bro. That's that's also what I'm tr I'm, tr I'm trying to do as well. As time goes by, yeah. and hopefully yeah. it's gonna put people out there. Cause I know people that I record sometimes. They be like, yo, this guy is good, but you know, he does not deserve to be. He yeah. does not deserve to be here. You feel me? And, so. and everyone already knows about the vault. Like, how how did you come up with that idea? Yo. Ella, like, <laughs> yo, that's, like, that's, I, I'm really curious to know. Yo, like, okay, first of all, I was inspired by, um, I've got friends in Jersey, um, mm -hmm. big shout out to them. Um, so what inspired me to like come up with the vault is that I saw like many, many people want to like move to Jersey to like, you know, yeah. get mm -hmm. a platform to get gigs, to like get record labels and stuff like that. Man, I just saw that why not like start in our own hometown man, and not have to go, you know, big up the name of another city. Because the, we have our own the thing is, if you go there, mm -hmm. there are people there that own the city, own that are running their streets, you understand? Yeah. So when you go there, you need to be accepted first before you even show them your music. And do you yeah. realize that the vault is going to open up um, door gates for every artist that's, that we don't even yeah, know? Yeah, we don't even know. Yeah. That's, that's the major thing about how many it. Celebrity, oh, no, not celebrities. How many Local artists. artists. Um, I'm, I'll say um, there's no limit for like local artists. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, yeah. I just want yeah. everyone, everyone is welcome. And we, we can't be that many too. So. Well, it can't be that many. Let's say um, plus minus 15, 20, man. See, that's, that's really dope. That's we a lot, at least to, to keep people watch. entertained. It's not as well. the only vault event that we're mm. gonna hold. There's still more coming, yeah. depending on the support we get from society and the people, man. You see. Yeah, that's dope. That's yeah, really man. dope. So I'm trying to like, um, going back on Ella's question about what like really motivated me to like come up with the vault. Yeah. It's Cotton Fest, man. Big shout out to Ricky Rick. Yeah. RIP him. Long live Ricky, man. Sure. Um, so I saw that Cotton Fest was like the biggest, like, literally biggest. the biggest, <laughs> right. the biggest, in South Africa. Right. The biggest yeah. event in South Africa. I mean, we're talking about an event with four stages. You get main stages, stage two, st man, that's big. And every stage is packed. Man. Every stage every is packed. Stage is packed man. Man. Every stage is packed. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's so, really yeah, big. man, that's what motivated me is that Ricky Rick, man, you know, I mean, Ricky Rick didn't just, you know, Get rich or be mm. there on top. No, on top. You yeah. also had to start somewhere, man. Yeah. yeah. You see, with five. I think with, with him creating this, he was trying to, you know, know, accelerate those artists that are still at the bottom. You know. Yeah. To exist, exactly. because I know the pain that you guys go through. I'm gonna open up something that's gonna put you guys out there yeah. and promote you guys. I think that that was the idea of. No, you still gonna uh, perform at the Cotton Fest. I'm. I'm just waiting to hear from his people, because I was actually like communicating with him directly. Damn. I have no like, um, I don't even know if he like told the others about me or stuff mm -hmm. like that, but I was talking to okay, him okay. through the gram, you see, okay. Instagram. So let's just hope that Management. I still get my slot. Man, yeah, see, that'll be, you know. Let's just hope I still get my slot because I know like Cotton Fest is really a great platform. And um, how's the merch going by the, the rise of the cartel? Have you ever like thought of expanding it by tracker caps maybe? Um, yeah, I could say that because, I mean, first of all, um, the rise of the cartel merch, I was just using it to like, you know, promote um, my EP, the drill EP. Not mm -hmm. knowing that many people are gonna like fall in love with the merch, you know. Yeah. Bro, so same players here, bro. Whole lot of like demands for the Razor Cartel merch. <laughs> I mean, I released new merch, but yeah. no one cares about, about the it. The new one. They all want they the, the old one. It's like, like that, bro. Like, I created the merch for me for Tina's music. Yeah. I was like, ah, I think I was like, talking to Ocean as well. I was like, yeah, I don't think you know many people are going to you know. Yeah. But then, but as, as soon as I announced, my man, it's like you can show like how many people are willing to support you, G. You understand? So, sure, I, yeah, I, I understand the people, man. And you have to give the people what they want. You have to give them <laughs> what they want. And you have to give us what we want. <laughs> I, for sure. It's a must, it's a need, it's a have to, it's everything, man. Yeah, my G. The people, the people come first, man. Mm. Oh, yeah, no stress. Uh, so, so, yeah, uh, any, so you say, you, you, you say something about the features that, you know, you're doing now. Any features you want to put out there? 
went into Jewel Feature with Blanket. Did you, Yo. did you get it? Bro, I, um, to be honest, I'm still, I haven't like posted a snippet that I was talking about. I still have to post the snippet, so like, was it that song, song you so, posted on your WhatsApp? Yeah, the song that you see. That song is dope, you see. So yeah, I'm also. You haven't posted, posted it. No, I haven't posted it. So guys, it yet, guys, it's exclusive, guys. It's exclusive. It's exclusive, guys. Yes. All right, we're gonna take a break and we're gonna come back. Just now. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back again. We just had to take a break and welcome back to the podcast. So, yeah, man, what were we talking about? The vote. The vote. Yeah, man, tell us, when is the vote? Because everyone has been talking. Yeah, the vote, the vote. Yeah. I saw there was an, like a thing created on Facebook, you know, oh, that yeah, you say uh, you're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. So, yeah, man, um, so the vote is taking place on the 18th of June to celebrate um, Youth Day, man, because it's like yeah. it's the Saturday after um, the 16th of June. Oh, okay, that Saturday, okay. I'm yeah. going to be operating, man, you know. Yeah, that's... Because, I mean, man, since it's for the youth, mm-hmm. you know, by the youth, so we have to, like, Use Youth Day, man, to like make it our, you know, our foundation first, man. Yeah. Know, our get go. That's yeah. where you're gonna start, man. On the Youth Day, man. Is is there any artist that, like, the big artist that you are bringing to the to the show? Um, at the moment, man. All they gotta like keep in mind is that we bring um D Koala and K Kid. Yo, yo. Spaz, yeah, so those are the makers, man. Yo, bro, we, I, I don't know who I was talking about, K Kid. Yeah, it was it was Litema. Was we were talking to the, yo, bro. She's she's yo, she's dope, man. It will be my pleasure to at least take a picture. Man. <laughs> take a picture, man. Yeah. So that's like so that's like exclusive, you know, information. K Kid is coming through to the vault. So yeah, you already know, man. So but there might be an extra. Or it might change. We it might book them, or we might book a bigger artist. A bigger artist. A bigger artist. Who knows? Do you want to say the name? The people now. <laughs> you know, we just like you know. Yeah, I give it. Deal in mm. the secrets right now. You see. So it's, just, it's a surprise. Yeah, it's, it's a surprise. It's a surprise. Uh, I'm willing to wait. Bro. I'm willing to wait. I'm willing to wait. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm you know, good. Guys, I can wait. Yo, I'm a surprise. So, yeah, yeah, I can I see you pushing me in this and. P all the way. And for the fact that. Kick back, back and chill podcast, podcast is going to be involved in oh, some way. Shit, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. shit, man. You want to say? <laughs> Obviously, yeah. man. The trip check trip is going to be handled by you guys. KBC gang. Chill. KBC gang, man. KBC. We're going to be in Kick. charge of the trip checks. Um, so, guys, yeah. just to let you guys know, give y'all a heads up. Um, yeah. So, at the, at the trip check, yeah. whoever wins the trip check yeah. is going to get a chance to, like, Go on stage with our guest artists. So yeah, you guys, you must see. drip hard. And, and they're gonna, gonna, gonna have a chance of like, yeah. be shout out. Wait, how Damn. Do you judge the, the, the person is? Damn, bro, we're gonna but handle like that. We won't handle that. D- don't Yo, stress, bro. <laughs> Kick back and chill, <laughs> has it, bro. Yeah. Kick back and chill. Chill. Let's just hold. <laughs> chill. <laughs> I think yeah, yeah, bro. I think we're gonna. Yeah, bro. We we gonna do our best, man. Kick back and chill is gonna be doing. Drip check at the vault. You must make sure that you guys drip hard. I know Ocean Geno does not disappoint, my friend. Never disappoint, man. He, he, he never disappoint this guy. So, uh, yeah, my G. So, how many tickets have you sold? Um, we, at the moment, I have 250 tickets. Yeah. And we've sold like 50%. 50%. Yeah, Bro, that's 50%. with the ticket that you have sold already, yeah, we, we can, can do, do it, it. man. Let's do it. Bro, I'm, I'm let's do it. Get yeah. Let's do it, my G. Yeah. So you guys, obviously, you guys, KBC, man, yeah. partnership, man. Yeah, you already know. VIP section, exclusive. KBC, T Nice Music. Yeah, man. We there, partners of the vault. Um, you already since know. Since your last EP dropped in 2020, mm. um, during the vault, will be you will you be dropping? Damn, she did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, I, I don't. Th- maybe, maybe the song that I'm working on, that I'm trying to get a big artist on, mm-hmm. I might drop that song because. At the vault, we're going to be shooting a video, a music video, mm-hmm. but I'm not telling oh, for which shit. track. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're going to be a surprise. Okay, okay. We're going to be shooting a that music video. That would be dope. That would be dope, man. 
So is there any anything else about the vote that you want to tell us? About the vote? Um, mm, let me think, man. There's a lot. There's a lot. And they, like, they just don't a cross my mind. Because age restriction, maybe? Oh, yeah. Mm, not really, because... It's for the youth. For the youth. Remember, for the youth, it's man. for the youth. <laughs> <laughs> Please, do it responsibly, yeah. though. Yeah, 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 for sure. And we are sponsored sure. by SAP, man. Yeah. Shout out to SAP. Um, that's, that's the, at least, you at know. At least, man, we, go, we get something. They're going to, like, sponsor us with infrastructure. And the, the security the is... Security is handled. Yeah. Um, paramedics, everything, man. We Yo, G, how do you get the sponsors, though? The sponsors? Yeah. Um, I just text them on Instagram. If I just tell them on Instagram, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's that is because it's just the approach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The way you approach, the way you approach them. Yeah. I always like, want to know, bro, like, yeah, how man, do you When you, like, want to talk to people like that, man, you shouldn't, like, show them that you're desperate. You just gotta like act like you also in that upper echelon, you see. Like you did. That well. caliber that they are in yeah, the yeah. CC. Just like talk naturally, man. Yo, man, I love to work with you, man. Give me your details. Don't like mm. give him the like the choice to like decide whether oh, to work with you or not. Just okay. tell him, man, give me your details. If he doesn't want to, fuck him. Oh sorry, <laughs> <laughs> It's all good. It's all good, man. So yeah, yeah man. Jing, I think it is I can't I really can't wait to, to be at the vault, you know, yeah. you know, since because you know, man, like a lot of people have been asking the security thing, you know, mm -hmm. since they it's not like under 18, no under 18. Yeah. So, everyone who's under 18 is gonna like want to feel safe there, yeah. and so yeah, definitely they want to be safe, yeah, definitely understand. they want to be safe, man, because we have security, we will have the law enforcement patrolling yeah. outside the yards. And we also have, you know, paramedics just in um, case of any injuries. And know. transport for those who live in Iceland, George. Mm, that, that can, can be organized, be organized by an <laughs> extra cost, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. extra cost, man, you know? Money talks. Yo, money talks. Money makes the world go around, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. guys. Yo, bro, I, f I feel like we can talk the whole day and, no, you know. It just never ends. Never, never ends, bro. Never ends. Never ends. Never ends. Uh, I don't know if you, you want to say something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, would you tell us more about the features? That are coming up. Yeah, that are coming yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Big shout out. I'm gonna be working on the track with Ocean Geno. Ocean Geno. Yeah, yeah. Bro, show the Ocean Geno. Show them Ocean Geno, bro. <laughs> show them Ocean Geno, bro. What? And yeah. my guy, Phoenix Raps. Phoenix yeah, Raps, for sure. Yeah. Coming soon. For sure. For yeah, on the camera. Big shout out to him. I'm gonna, I'm pick, I'm gonna put, put a picture of him on the screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah, man. So, yeah. And I also got a feature coming up with um, Tracer T from Josie. Yeah. Um, many features, but. I'm yeah. not ready to like unveil most of it. At least you, you, yeah, yeah. At least you gave, gave out the best ones. See, the best ones. See, that I'm like ready <laughs> yeah, to work with. Yeah, 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 that, yeah that's, that's, that's really dope, Finish man. Fast, please check them out, guys. Stay hot. The link's in the description. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, and a couple of questions your fans wanted me to ask you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're dying to know about your love life. Okay, guys. Just, Just to be honest, honest man. <laughs> Take your time. Yeah. Take your time. <laughs> no, take, take, your time. take your time. <laughs> there, yeah. there is someone that I'm seeing, but yeah. I would say it's an open relationship. Like, okay, it's nothing. Yeah, that's all I nothing, can say though. for now. Ella. Okay. It's an open. Now we're relationship. looking, bro. We're checking. If Just to, you know? Yeah, yeah. for sure. I wait. So, yeah. Any questions you want to know? No. Any questions? That's the only question. I guess that was the You're good. Because they, they were like dying to know who's, who is he dating. Because apparently he's private. I got Gino, he the Gito, and I roll with Melanie. Make a Negro run his speedos, so I catch a felony. KBCB in them, I just like a fucking cavity. You can never say you are when you are. There, there's, there's people behind the scenes, you know. They wanna, they, some of them, they wanna ask questions. Is there anyone who wanna ask a question? Yeah, you can come through, stand next to Melanie, and then you ask your question. Introduce yourself, and yeah. Hey, yo, guys, my name is Lutemba, and the question that I want to ask today is... Yeah, it's blank now. You see, if people, if people are hating, mm. like, how are you going to handle them? How are you going to handle the fans that, let's say you're performing, eh? you see, and they say, boo, how would you handle that? I mean, man, it is what it is. If they boo, they boo, but I know what I do, man. Yeah. I'm hard. You see, I know what I'm good at and what, you know, because there's always going to be haters out there, you know? Mm, yeah. There's always going to be haters. Um, one thing I don't do is, like, to let them get the best of me, you know? If they hate, yeah. they don't hate. Because why do my you, haters and my friends, why do you come to the show if you hate? Why? You see, 
So I, I don't think, I'm not going to expect that for sure. I don't want to lie. inspiration of like, I want to be Murder's friend. Bro. You understand? Yeah. Yo, they always start like that. The first one I hate, mm. they don't like have no other option but to be your fan. Bro. You see? That's for sure. So that's, that's how I handle it. Okay, thank you. I'm world, by the way, also rapper. So yeah. I'm going to ask you this, like, how do I get to perform at the vault, man? It's just easy, man. Um, if you want to perform at the vault, just send us an email. Um, at Book Murder Worldwide, it's a at gmail.com. Send a picture of yourself, um, your Trace. name, the town. That's easy, man. And the songs? No, you just get 20 minutes to perform, so that's oh, more okay. than enough to perform. Yeah, that's 20 okay. minutes, so you get enough to perform. Why well, don't they also send their tracks on the email? Nah, they don't have to. They don't have to. Okay. So you don't have to like send your tracks, just submit on Murder Worldwide, it's a, then you're done. Easy as that. I'm on the lineup. Bro. You're on the lineup. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the lineup, bro. I for sure. You're on the lineup, bro. Make a hero from the so I can't feel any. KBC be in there, man, just like a fucking cavity. You can never say you how when you were mine is getting crazy, boy. What you gonna do when we pull up in on the race? Hello, guys. I'm Frank's Raps. I'm also a rapper. Um, um, I have a question for you, Meta. So um, previously, I uh, remember like um, you posted it on 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 Facebook and saying that like um, if uh, if a rapper want, um, wants to feature you, they should like pay the the, the, the maximum amount for like one thousand. I'm not sure. I, I don't, um, you go like tell me. So um, is, is the price still the same or yeah? Sure, no, man. It is um, that's a good question. Yeah, uh, that's a good question, Phoenix. Bro. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm still charging, but. There are certain people that I don't charge because I know what type of people that I work yeah. with. You know? mm -hmm. I know my, my, you know, what, 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 how can I say this? People in my caliber, you know, that I know that I believe in. Mm -hmm. See, that I don't really have to charge. No, oh yeah. I know that they I know that. Yeah. and they're like really confident and like really want to make it. You know? That's the people that I work with, people who are like, you know, hungry for their success and yeah. serious about their music. Like, mm. But yeah, man, my, 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 my feature fee, man, is 1K. Yeah, I respect 1K, that. bro. It's out there, and 1K. The booking fee, oh, mm -hmm. out of time booking is 2K. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's go, let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. And that's excluding um, everything, um, everything else. else yeah. Know? Then booking, bookings in plates, um, that's 1.5. Yeah, yeah, sure. Those are my rates yeah. at the moment. But yesterday's price is not the same as today's price. Yeah, price. just keep yeah, asking. Yeah, just just keep asking. asking. Yeah, yeah. See, so after the vote, yeah. ish. Yeah. All right, guys. So I think that was yeah, the last thank one. Thank you very much. Otherwise, we're gonna we're gonna be here the whole day. You already know. So yeah, guys. I think anyone with a question. Like, bro, how, where do you find you? Tell us where do we find you? The socials. Uh, guys, on my socials, it's Murder Worldwide SA. Mm. On Twitter, it's Murder Worldwide SA. On Facebook, it's murder. Or Zuki Samolo. Like, yeah. that's my personal account, so I don't want y'all flooding my feet. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So I'm good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, guys, check me out on Instagram. On YouTube, mm. it's murder. Oh, yeah, no. Yo, it's, yeah, it's, it's murder. murder, bro. Oh, yeah, it's murder. I forgot my YouTube. Yeah, yeah but we're going to put, put the links in the description. description. Uh, yeah, and then description everything else is going to, all the good stuff. stuff. And yeah, man, thanks for thanks for coming through, man. We really appreciate having you around. And this is Kickback and Chill. Make sure you guys subscribe, comment, and like. Guys, comment. If you guys want part two of uh, Murder, make sure you guys comment part two, part two, part two. Murder part two, for sure. And we're going to make it happen, for sure. Hey, we have 1.5K to, to book him. Let's go. Let's get it. Like a fucking cavity, you can never say you have.